there's something very special about cooking outside and eating outside. And today, we've got a pretty perfect day for it. What would you grow a week or harvest a week? Over 200,000. Heads of celery. Every week, heads of celery. It's only a matter of a day before they're out in the marketplace. So we can have celery from farm to fork in 24 hours. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Big thanks to Adam and Chris from Shrewers and Sons for having us here today and growing this amazing celery for us. Chris, if it's good enough to cook on a celery farm, it's good enough for you guys to cook at home. Give this one a try. Farming's in the blood. Look, I remember walking through the potatoes when I was, you know, this big. Today, we're gonna cook a dish inspired by Peter. So we're gonna do a paprika spiced potato bake to kind of look a little bit like that amazing landscape. And there we have it, a beautiful dish inspired by that amazing lamb farm in Kanongwatong. Stone fruit in summer cannot be beaten. I'm going to show you a really fun recipe that you can do really quickly. We're going to make a midweek dessert that's actually quite healthy as well. What do you love so much about raising beef and lamb? It's a beautiful feeling to do the full circle. This is a very simple dish. Yeah. Saltimbocca alla Romana, a Roman dish. I love it. You pull the frame out, a bit of a, that's ready to go. Brad, beautiful property you've got here. Tell us a little bit more about growing lentils and what it takes to make sure you get a nice crop. The lentils are a bit of a finicky crop. They're sown in May, generally. We need good rains throughout the year and then a nice, cool, dry finish to let them ripen perfectly. And that's our soup done. That is my lentil and cauliflower soup finished with Greek yogurt. Tim, this is a beautiful bit of land you've got here. How long have your family been here farming? Family settled in 1840 and been going ever since. We grow faba beans here, wheat, barley, canola, hay crops, and summer crops for lambs. And then you've got lots of lamb as well? We do, 60% crop, 40% sheep. After spending some time with Tim and Belinda at their beautiful farm where they grow a lot of broad beans, I thought, why not do a delicious recipe for you guys to cook at home? Wendy, what a beautiful property you've got here. Tell us a little bit about Pindari and what you guys do. Well, we're um, a mixed farm. We run about 700 uh, merino ewes and then we've got about 38 hectares of vineyard. Sarah, they look absolutely perfect. I can't wait to dig in. Guys, you have to try these at home. So on the farm here, it was it mainly sheep you guys do? Oh, pretty much half lamb, half cropping. And they actually work in quite well together, so they tend to complement each other. It's time to dish up a little lamb pizza pocket. And there you have it, guys. Braised and roasted lamb shoulder in pizza bread. We knocked on the door of uh, our friends at Rabo. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they understood agriculture. So our relationships with Rabo was massive and they understood what we are trying to do and what we are trying to achieve. For these recipes and loads of others, check out farmtofork.com.au. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys very soon.